Uh, today we're announcing, formally, the change of primary ownership of the Iowa Speedway. Uh, for the first now 58 months of operation, the Manat Corporation in Brooklyn, Iowa has been the primary owner. And uh, if you go back to September in 2006 when our race uh, schedule got off with the inaugural running in September, I know I joined the track four months after that, and, and Brad and Nat, one of the first things he told me is they had a five-year exit strategy. And so we're 58 months into that, so that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. They got out two months early uh, to get back to their core business. But obviously this track has, has been very successful under their leadership, and we expect even continued and bigger and better things from our new owners. And that primary ownership is the Clement family, spearheaded by Conrad Clement. Uh, who's been involved with NASCAR for over 20 years with uh, Featherlight Corporation. His brother Stan was one of the founders of the Iowa Speedway back in 2006. It was his vision back then to have this facility built, and along with the Manats got it done. As well as Tracy Clement and Eric Clement, uh, Conrad's two sons, who have also been uh, very much involved with Featherlight over the years and obviously entrenched into the NASCAR family because of that. One thing that, may, that needs to be absolutely certain with the media is it's business as usual at Iowa Speedway. The media, the sponsors, the fans will see no change. Well, I'll just take a first shot at it here. And, and uh, as, you know, as the president and CEO of Featherlight back in the day uh, uh, when the Speedway was getting for formed and founded and, and built, why, uh, you know, I worked with Stan and uh and and the manats to secure help secure the races uh especially the uh, nascar and indycar races and, and some of the <clears throat> some of the smaller sanctioning body races because we've had a long-term uh, relationship with indycar uh, asa nascar all of it for you know at that time 15 16 17 years isn't it's a 20 years now so uh, we just wanted to make sure, and being from Newton, originally born, raised here, and graduated from high school, we just wanted to make sure to see this uh, racetrack that was being built be successful, and uh, we're just really excited to be here now as, as the primary owners, and Rusty Wallace will continue his involvement and be a, uh, be a minority owner, and uh, we're just glad to be able, be able to be here and make this announcement today. Stan, you want to touch on anything? Or? Well, he said a lot of it. Um, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work. Uh, I got to go to uh, the NASCAR racing's uh, events through Conrad many years ago. Uh, we uh, talked about building the track here. Who are we going to get involved? Uh, Conrad introduced me to Rusty Wallace. I think it was in about the year 2000, 2001. Uh, we discussed it with him and he saw the location, he saw the airport, um, he loved everything about it, and uh, uh, that's, that's how we initially got started.